Hi guys and welcome to the Lincoln vs Sunderland match review. Now, again, it's another really, really frustrating one. So, so frustrating because if I'm going to be completely honest, we absolutely dominated that game for large, large parts. We made so many chances, missed so many sitters. Certain things didn't go our way, as you'd expect in this league, you know, with uh, refereeing decisions. We've seen it week in, week out now. We have done for years. It's a terrible standard of refereeing. Um, but I can't blame it solely on the referee. Um, you know, despite us having uh, sort of two or three blatant penalty shouts not given. Uh, yeah, it's, it's two points dropped. It's two points dropped. And we're quite, probably quite fortunate that uh, Chef Wednesday drew their game as well. Um, so that kind of kept us in the, in the top six. But it's two points dropped again. You know, we, we battered Charlton. We should have come away with three points there. We battered Lincoln today. We should have come away from three points today. Oh, sorry, come away with three points today. And we haven't. Credit to Lincoln, you know, or at least their keeper, who made an absolute world of a save towards the end of the game. But getting into it from the off, so we had power win goal, and then we had the back three again of Sirkin, Bailey Wright, and Winchester. And then we had Evans, we had Dan Neal, and we had O'Neill. And then uh, alongside Stewart up top, we had Clark on one side and uh, Roberts on the other. So getting into the game, uh, opening sort of 15, 20 minutes, my God, did we make some chances. Do you know what I mean? There were just so many nearly moment such good fluid football as well I, I can't knock the lads in terms of performance again but it's just so so annoying we did everything but score but opening 15 minutes we made some great chances Clark cuts in from left to right and he said it just past the far post another one where a ball is fizzed in towards Clark he's hit it first time again just past the far post uh, you got Stewart in there who um he was pretty much wrestled down to the ground as I say that was Penalty decision, blatant penalty decision number one not given. He was ripped down to the floor. Um, another chance where we're breaking down the right hand side and it's give, it's um, pulled back to Daniel on the edge of the box. He's hit it first time, he's hit it just over the bar. You know, so we, we could have been 2 or 3 nil up 15, 20 minutes in. Then it kind of fizzled out a little bit, but we still controlled the ball. They just kind of sat back and they didn't even defend that particularly well because we were creating chances which weren't taking him and some clear cut chances as well. And it just ran through the entirety of the first half, dominated. The only times really, you know, to give Lincoln some credit, where they did look dangerous is every time they played the long diagonal balls, particularly in the first half, because Clark in the first half, what I need to really just put, put it out there, that defensively he was pretty horrible in the first half, because I know he's not a defensive player, but when you're playing this system with three at the back, the wingers need to be able to track back and, you know, tend to their defensive duties as well, because Roberts was doing it really well, tracking back. You know, seeing off his lad and uh, marking his lad when they were doing the, the diag balls. But on the clock side, he just wasn't tracking back. And a good two or three times, they did ping it over diagonally. And uh, where Clark should have been, he wasn't. And that's where they would make chances, or at least they'd get it on that wing. And then get crosses in, and luckily we'd, we'd deal with it. But yeah, that was the one concern I did have. You know, dealing with those big diag balls, we just weren't handling it on that side of Clark. But second half, I think Neil must have, Daniel, Daniel, Alex Neil must have uh, collared him in the in the dressing room or at least said something to him because he was far better defensively in the second half. But second half, more of the same. But this time we have two penalty decisions. You know, one was uh, 09 had it on the edge of the box. He just slipped in Patrick Roberts. He was just opening his body up. He was just about to pull the trigger and he's yanked back. His arm is grabbed and he's uh, flung to the ground. The ref gives absolutely jack shit. Another one, Ross Stewart again, who, by the way, not just penalty decisions, he was getting battered all game long, and the ref, again, we see it week in, week out, like I say, I'm getting bored of saying it, but he was getting battered, jumped all over, pulled to the ground, elbowed, everything, and he was getting absolutely nothing. But there was another chance, uh, sorry, another penalty, playing penalty, another one where he was thrown to the ground, uh, off the ball, corner come in, and he, he, he's thrown to the ground, again, Ross Stewart, the, the lad doesn't even have his eyes on the ball, he's just staring at Ross Stewart, dragged him to the ground, right in front of the referee, nothing again, it's just, it's just such a joke, it really was. Again, we're making chances, though. One of them, in particular, we break down the right-hand side. Really well done. Pull back to Corey Evans. Absolute sitter. Absolute sitter. And he's hit the post. Um, another one as well. It's Clark on the left-hand side after some really, really good work. Uh, and he's dragged it just wide of the post. Defoe comes on. He has an effort. He's spun his man on the edge of the box. He's hit it towards the bottom left-hand corner. Again, just wide of the post. Um, you've got, as well, right at the last second of the game, or the last, last couple of minutes, it's like the 91st minute. I think there were three, four minutes added on, but the 91st minute, it was uh, some really good play from Sirkin down the left hand side. I think he had a really good game, to be fair. He looked so dangerous when he was coming forward. A few step overs, and he pinged it across goal. There's Ross Stewart, cutting across the ball, nods it across, 
And the keeper's starting position was actually quite poor. I think he, he stuck to his near post a bit too much, but he left a gaping hole across the other side of goal. But my God, he's pulled off an absolute worldy of a save to get it out the way he's got across the other side of goal to keep that one out. Um, so, yeah, it, it just wasn't our day. It really, really wasn't our day. There was one chance for them towards the end of the game as well. There one real sort of clear-cut chance. He got it down to the byline, pinged it across goal, free header, literally five, six yard out. And Patterson pulls off a class save as well. Just claws it away. Class save. It's finished nil-nil. It's uh, you can't you can only see it as a negative. Only a negative. Luckily, like I say, Chef Wednesday drew, so that's what keeps us in the top six. Otherwise, it would have been a hell of a lot worse. But it's still not good enough. You know, these draws against Charlton and uh, and this one today, I think it's, it could very, very easily come back to battles on the arse. Because these are all must-win games, and I'm saying it all the time, and I'm repeating myself, re recycling the same shit. All these are must-win games. I know it's not as simple as that, but the, the but draw, draw is a draw isn't good enough. Essentially, a draw is not good enough. But I can't sit here rant and rave and say the performance was shit. This guy was crap. This guy was crap because they weren't. They just did everything but score. That is literally it. I, I can't fault the lads in that sense. I really can't because some of the football was absolutely fantastic. Some really good fluid football, but. What, what's it worth? You know, what's it worth when you're not scoring goals? It's a shame. It's another clean sheet if you want to take any positive. It's another clean sheet. Defensively, we look really good. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really, really, really frustrating game, guys. Really, really frustrating result. Um, fortunately, we're still in the top six. But that's all I'm going to say on the matter, guys. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.